child struggles to read is frustrating for parents and the child. Now, the child may have an eye problem or a learning disorder. There is another possibility. Cynthia Newsom is here with an exclusive On Your Side health report tonight. Well, there's a rare disorder that many parents just don't know about, and medical experts disagree on how to fix it. In tonight's On Your Side health report, we have the latest science on an old and controversial treatment helping some students learn to read and love it. Um, every night for an hour and 30 minutes, sometimes I read for, I read for the whole time. J.P. Holly has a passion for reading, something that used to be painful. It was kind of blurry and I couldn't really concentrate and I kept on skipping lines and words. And we had been told by his teachers that this kid probably has ADHD. You know, he probably will never read on grade level. He's not going to be able to learn. JP's mom had his eyes examined several times and there was nothing physically wrong. It was only after she did some research on the internet and discovered these color overlays you simply put on the book. So I put it on top of his homework and I said, let's try this. And he started reading. Now it wasn't fluent, it wasn't perfect, but he was reading. And I'm in tears, I can't hardly breathe. From color overlays, JP moved up to color tinted glasses. He says they changed the way letters look. They mostly quit moving and that's mostly it. They just quit moving, they stayed in place and I didn't skip lines anymore. It's painful for some of these kids to look at the page. Dr. Jeffrey Lewine, a neuroscientist at KU Medical Center, shows us what children with Erlen's catopic sensitivity syndrome see when they try to read. Giant white spaces, blurry letters, and, like JP said, words that move. And, and you can imagine that if this is what your visual world looks like when you read, reading is not a fun thing for you, you don't want to do it. At first, Dr. Lewine laughed at the idea of fixing the syndrome with colored glasses. Oh, I thought it was the most ridiculous thing that, that I'd ever heard. So he set out to disprove the theory and ended up changing his mind. We did a very simple experiment which looked at the way that the brain processes information. With brain imaging, Dr. Lewine concluded that the problem is in an area of the brain called V5. What's happening to these kids is they're looking at words on the page. V5 is turning on, so the brain interprets that as the words moving around. You put the glasses on and this abnormal V5 activation goes away. The children report that the visual image has stabilized, and now they have a real fighting chance in terms of developing their reading skills. Patients simply try different lenses to see which color or combination does the trick. You will have no lack of water. JP's glasses may be shaded. His mom says JP's future is clearer and brighter because of them. And I still catch myself sometimes when I hear him read, having to hold my breath, because it's like, that's my kid. That's my kid. And JP is doing great, but his success does not sway some experts. Some ophthalmologists and optometrists I talk with insist that the new brain imaging study is not conclusive proof. Dr. Lewine admits we need more research to find out why, but Lewine says his science demonstrates the colored glasses do the trick. Now, this Wednesday, March 19th, families 